It's the time of year Canadian harp seals are born. However, the ice packs that the pups need for survival are disappearing. CBS's Wendy Gillette has more. These are harp seal pups. They were born here on packs of ice in the Gulf of St. Lawrence in Canada. The pups weigh about 25 pounds at birth. And their moms are never far away from the newborns. It's so cute. Look at that snow on its face. The pups spend their early days chewing on the ice, slithering around, <laughs> and getting used to the world. Their white fur serves a purpose so they can absorb sunlight and stay warm until they develop blubber. They lose their fur when they're about three or four weeks old. The Magdalen Islands north of Nova Scotia are the only place in the world you can go to see the newborns in their natural habitat. But the ice packs are thinning, making it impossible for choppers to land and threatening the survival of the seals. Mike Hamill is a biologist with Fisheries and Oceans Canada. Why is this happening? We think overall it's, it's linked to climate change. We are getting increasingly mild winters, less ice. That's why it has a negative impact on the harp seal. Hamill says harp seals can't give birth on land, only ice. Scientists estimate within the next 50 years, they won't have any options left in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Because the ice is either it won't exist or because the ice is so poor that uh, any animal that tries to have their pups on the ice, uh, the ice would break up and the pups would drown. Hamill is hopeful the harp seals will eventually migrate north to Newfoundland. But it's a long way and they'll have to fight off predators, including polar bears. Wendy Gillette, CBS News, the Magdalen Islands, Canada. This is the fifth year since 2010 that thin ice has canceled the tour season.